All right, guys. So we're back with another React context video. I felt like one video with just uh, you know one example wasn't good enough. So we're gonna do another example with why context is also pretty powerful. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a uh, a theme selector. Well, we're only gonna have two themes. Uh, we're gonna use a third party library called Styled Components to uh, get this feature. Uh, so we're still gonna need to use a React context, but we just need Styled Components to actually support. Uh, our styles as well as themes. And it's gonna be very simple. Styled components is ridiculously easy to use, I promise you. I've used it so many times, it's amazing. So I have this brand new React app that I literally just created. So first, before we do anything, let me go ahead and install styled components. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and just run npm start. Yeah, npm is uh, pretty uh, slow sometimes. Yarn is better, but I'm just gonna stick with npm. Okay, so let's start up our application. So this should open up our app on port 3000, which is good. Okay, great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and obviously just get rid of all this, uh, you know, all of the default stuff. Get rid of this logo, get rid of the CSS. Uh, let's just get rid of this index.css as well. Let's get rid of the test file, okay, let's get rid of this logo. Okay, that's fine, everything else is fine. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create uh, a simple theme. We're gonna create two themes. So we're gonna have a dark theme and a light theme. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and, let's see, let's go inside here and let's just create, uh, let's do uh, styles, okay. And let's just do index.js. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna import styled from styled components. So this is gonna kinda like be like a mini styled component tutorial, but I'll show you guys how it works. It's really, really cool. So you can pretty much create anything that you want uh, using styled components. So it's essentially, you can think of it just like JavaScript mixed with uh, uh, CSS. So let's say if I wanna create a button component, I can go ahead and reference this styled variable and you can literally select literally a lot of different html elements okay and it'll literally just uh you know pop up and now that we have this style button we can use the template literal to specify all the styles that we want so for this button i'm going to get rid of the outline set it to none i'm going to get rid of the border set it to none uh, i'm going to go ahead and give it some padding so we'll do Top and bottom will do, let's say, uh, 20 pixels. I think left and right will be at 25 pixels. Um, and let's go ahead and give it a background color of 272727. So it's pretty much very similar to actual like CSS, okay? But now the way that you would use this button is very simple. If I go ahead and if I just import this button from styles, and if I look at the DOM, you'll see that I have a button now. Uh, and let me actually go ahead and give it some text. So let's just say, click me. And there we go, we have a button. Very simple, we can style it however we'd like, pretty much like a regular CSS file. Okay, so let's just give it a border radius of 10 pixels. Um, let's actually change the padding a little bit. I don't really like the padding. Uh, let's give it the border radius, it's too much. Okay, and I think maybe the font, again, we're not gonna make it too complicated. <laughs> this is just a, Simple example. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So what I want to do is I want to have a button and I want to have different themes for this button. Okay, so what we're gonna do after this button is we're basically just going to create two very, very simple, very, very simple themes. So the way that we're gonna create the theme, uh, I'm gonna go, go ahead and just go inside. I think I'll just create the theme inside here, index.js. So we'll do export const, let's do, uh, Let's do dark theme, and it will do a light theme. Okay. So with the dark theme, uh, we're gonna make this very simple. So the dark theme is just gonna change the color of the button. So if if it's a dark theme, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the color of the button as what we currently have right now, and the color is obviously gonna be uh, white. So that because that way the white can actually look visible with the darker background. So let me go ahead and just, I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, 
this. And we also have to be careful, we can't use like the actual, um, we can't actually use like the actual CSS uh, elements. We actually have to use like the, the JSX style elements. So like background color with no dash, okay? And for text color, we'll do text color. So you can actually find all of these uh, properties on uh, the website. It should appear somewhere. Uh, I think they, they should have a more uh, detailed, um, should have a more detailed, uh, you know, actually, wait, no, actually, if I remember correctly, you can actually define, you can, actually, no, you can define these variables as, as whatever you want. And then what you'd have to do is you'd have to go inside the actual style component and then modify the actual, uh, like, mod make, make sure you actually uh, reference the prop. Okay, yeah, I, I remember it now. Okay, yeah, and if that's the case, I'll just change this to color and we'll just set this to white. Whoops. White. To put in the string. Okay, and for light theme, um, actually, wait, I got this the other, I got this, I guess, I got this the wrong way. Uh, actually, hey, now nah, nah, this will be fine. This will be fine. Okay, so for light theme, we will use a uh, lighter color. Uh, so, um, I'm, try, I'm trying to think. So let me look up a hex color picker. I think for light theme, we'll just use a simple grayish color because I can't really think of any other good color. And for the text, we'll just we'll just kind of do like an inverse, you know, like the text will be dark and then the background color will be a little bit grayish, okay? So we have, a, so we have two themes and that's like a very, very simple, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now create a context, okay? We're gonna create a context and that context is pretty much going to be responsible for uh, all it's going to do is it's just going to um, keep track of what theme we are currently we are, we, we, we are currently using. Okay, so I'm just going to create a folder called context. And again, like I said, you don't have to follow this file structure. It's totally optional. But I'm going to go ahead and do theme context.jsx. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, import the create context function from React. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and do export const theme context is equal to create context. And it's just gonna have the default value. And we're gonna have theme. So this is just going to be a string. And it's and uh, if, if I were using TypeScript, I would do dark or light. But those are the only two possible values that the theme can be. And this is why I personally prefer TypeScript usually because you can pretty much type annotate literally everything. Okay, um, and we will set, we'll create a function called toggle theme. It's very similar to how we did it in the last tutorial. Okay, uh, with uh, React context. Okay, so now that we have our context, all this context is doing is it's storing the theme and we have, prov we're providing a function that we're gonna be able to invoke to actually uh, update the theme. Okay, so everything seems good. Now we do need to go inside uh, the, the button we actually do need to go inside this component later and modify uh, the pro the values of the background color and color so that it actually is assigned the themes value and not these hard coded values. But we'll do that after we actually set up the context. All right, so now the only thing that we really need to do next is we just need to import um, the theme provider from the actual styled component library. So we'll do that at app.js. So import from styled components. And that's just gonna be the theme provider. So this is the uh, this is the provider that's actually going to allow us to control the theme and it's gonna be able to replace all the styles, okay? So to show you how this works, let's go ahead and just wrap this around the theme provider. Now we are gonna get an error in the, uh, yeah, we're gonna get an error because a theme prop is required. So we will need to provide a theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and just provide a, a theme manually right now. And we'll go ahead and just provide the dark theme. Okay, now uh, nothing is going to obviously change. Now let me go ahead and, you know, do light theme instead. You're gonna see nothing is gonna change. And like I said, that's because we still have to modify these prop values. So to actually get the uh, uh, values for the theme, we're gonna need to just uh, remove these hard-coded values and reference the uh, props, okay, for these styled components, because like I said, these are also components and they'll also take in props as well. 
So we're gonna use dollar sign curly brace and we're gonna pass in props. And this props is gonna have this theme property. Okay, and that's how we're actually going to get the, the theme to work. Okay, so we'll have uh, props at the end of the background color. We're gonna do the same thing for the color, the text color. So it's props.theme, so props.theme and then back in color, okay? So now, if we actually go into the app, you can see that what, if I change the color for, let's say if I change this to blue, you can see that it's blue. I'm not sure if you guys can recognize that, but let me change the background color. Let's change the background color to pink, and you can see that it's going to change, okay? So now let's actually go ahead and change the theme. We're, now we're changing it manually and you can see that it changed okay and obviously whatever styled component you create that wants to that you want to reflect off the theme you would have to follow the same exact thing okay so that's pretty straightforward and now all we need to do is we need to make sure that we are we are able to change the theme okay so we're going to make it so that whenever we click on this button the theme will update so we'll actually need to uh, programmatically select the theme so we can't just obviously have it hard coded like that. So what we're gonna do is this is where we're gonna uh, bring in our theme context, okay? So we're gonna take uh, this theme provider and we're going to, I'm just gonna uh, highlight this and, and cut it out. And I'm going to import the theme uh, context and I'm gonna get the provider. I'm gonna wrap this, we're gonna wrap uh, this whole theme provider and this div uh, in between the theme context.provider. And we're going to pass in the value. And what we're going to do is for the value, we're going to have obviously have to pass in the theme. Hold on. Not sure why that's not, why that IntelliSense is not picking up. Uh, huh, everything's uh, just being weird today, isn't it? It should be theme as well as. Uh, Toggle theme, but I'm not sure why that is not uh, the. I'm not sure why the IntelliSense wasn't picking picking that up. Anyways, so what we'll do is we'll say const theme set theme, okay, and then use state for. So by default, we will set the theme to let's say let's just set the theme to light by default. Now you can also do something like you know if you guys want you can also do something like uh, save the, the 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 theme to local storage so that way it's persistent. So that way they don't have to keep on, you know, changing the theme over and over again. Okay. So for uh, the set theme, so this uh, is responsible for updating the theme uh, to, uh, it's responsible for updating the theme to uh, dark or light. So what we'll do is we'll create the toggle theme. Now, sometimes you can actually use the actual setter function as the updater function. And you won't have to actually create this uh, extra function, but usually that only works is if you is if the uh, the value that you're updating is like a uh, is like a binary value, like either true or false, right? In our case, we actually need to check to see what the current theme is. So if it's dark, we have to set it to light. If it's light, we have to set it to dark, which we can we can actually do using just a set theme. But um, I think what I'll do is actually let me do this. Let me change it to toggle theme. Okay. Um, and now what we need to do, so uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this component um, and I'm going to actually uh, bring this inside another component. So let's create another component and let's just call it a uh, theme toggler.jsx, export const theme toggler. Okay, and let's just return this and we'll have to import the button okay and theme toggler is going to be wrapped between these these uh, providers okay and now all let's do is just consume the context by uh, passing in um, let's see it's going to be theme context okay and then we're gonna go ahead and do toggle I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure why my IntelliSense is not working, but anyways. So what we'll do is whenever we click on this button, okay, we're going to go ahead and just simply say, okay, if uh, if the theme is currently, 
if the, if the theme is currently light, so if theme is light, set the value to dark, okay? If it's not light, then it has to be dark, we'll set the value to light. So I think we won't actually need to create another function. This should actually just work just fine, okay? And then now for the, th for the theme provider over here, what we'll do is we'll say if theme is equal to light, uh, we will set the light theme, right? Uh, yeah, set the light theme. Whoops, that's supposed to be a question mark. And then else, we will do dark theme. So turn your operators are pretty OP. Okay, so let's try this out. And you can see that our theme is actually working. Like we're actually able to toggle the theme on and off. And keep in mind that as long as any uh, component is wrapped in between these, uh, these two providers, uh, then any component, anywhere in the application, any component can actually toggle the theme. Okay, so um, like I said, uh, you should probably save the theme to local storage. So that way, um, whenever they refresh the page, they can actually keep the current theme that they're on. It would be a pretty bad user experience if they had to keep on setting the theme over and over again. And you can have more than one theme as well. You can create like a select drop down box and allow them to select whichever theme and then save it to local storage and then uh, pick the current theme. Okay. Um, and that is going to be pretty much it for this tutorial for style components. Um, I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can create whatever uh, component you want using styled components, right? And you can just change, uh, you, you can just like uh, modify all the CSS and then you can use. Uh, the corresponding themes to set the background color, the text color, um, and really anything really. It's it's really up to you. I would suggest you guys to be, uh, you know, uh, I would suggest you guys to uh, try and test these things out yourselves. So that's going to be pretty much it. I will leave the code in the description because this is definitely a lot of stuff and I would like for you guys to have the code. So that's going to be pretty much it. So hopefully you guys you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and join my Discord server. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.